my father passed away recently, and he'd been sick for a couple of years. Actually, he'd been sick for a long time. But what I did start to notice mm -hmm. was that I was sleeping more, mm -hmm. wanting to sleep more. Good. I was being more of a uh, hermit or hibernating, even out in public, that I'd be making some mistakes. Okay, well, your, your question is the answer that I would have, that I would have given. I mean, <clears throat> even if you expect a death, it's still different than you expected. Like someone dying is really different than somebody dead. And we want to, we want to, we want to, especially in a North American culture, we want to sort of skip over the feelings of grief because they're just, they're not productive. They don't feel productive. They're not fun. They're not cheery. And, and if you don't leave space in your life for it, it's going to, it's going to come up somehow. So your, your impulses are, are perfect you know, give in to a little more sleeping if that's what you're craving. And if you need a little bit more privacy, you might want to also communicate with your friends so they know to look in on you and, and keep track of how much privacy is too much and how much privacy is, is what you really kind of need right now. Um, the thing about body over grieving would be if, you know, look for errors, you know, do you have bruises and you didn't notice that you hit anything? Did you, did you send a business email and, and it wasn't even finished yet and you accidentally sent the business email too soon? Uh, on the Body Wear Grieving part of the website, we're also going to have audio podcasts um, coming up. And we're working on something called the Wellness 100. It's a system that each person's going to invent for themselves about, from a scale of 1 to 100, what is you at your best? When you're completely, your reflexes are fast, you're in a good mood, you're as, as happy and as functional in your life as you personally tend to become, if that was 100 and zero is like really like low level function, zero, you're, you're in trouble. You know, you need, you need help. You need help from somebody and you need to find out how to get it. You need to talk to people and, and get some help for yourself. So we're going to bounce around between those numbers a lot. And the, the Wellness 100 is just a system of just checking in with yourself. You make a mistake that you wouldn't normally make and you go, huh, you know, maybe I'm just like a 65 right now. And you'd want to just know how you're, how you're doing because that'll help you decide when to take on challenges and when to not take on challenges, when to load on the extra personal care. And just to listen to those moments before they turn into bigger moments, you know, especially, especially if you're about to drive. If you're going to get in your car and you have any indication that you're not as alert as you should be, you know, take a moment before you turn the ignition and, and you know, we're going to be talking about that, uh, uh, you know, techniques of how to improve how you're doing and techniques of how to make modifications if you, if you just need the time to be as low as you happen to be right now, but to leave space for it in your life.